Arise. Arise. Shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall come in the earth, and gross darkness of people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. The scripture says, Arise and shine, for thy light has come. I'm here to declare to somebody this evening. Your light has come this evening. I said, The Lord says to you, to your light has come this afternoon. The glory of the Lord is risen upon this house. My God. The Bible says that kings shall come to the brightness of thy rising. It means that you will not have to go out to get people. People are going to come to you. You need to understand something. It's noted that John the Baptist was the highest right man of God before Jesus came on the scene. And John the Baptist, they say, was an unusual man. They say he was a hearing man. He had a operated in the anointing and the mantle of Elijah. That was a prophecy that was given. And the Bible says that he wore a sheepskin mantle, just like how Elijah did. And he was in the backside of the desert. He was in the Jordan. Now the Jordan River baptizing people onto the remission of their sins. Watch this. There was no Facebook. There was no Instagram. There was no YouTube. There was nothing like that. And people were leaving their cities are going to a desert to hear a man of God. What kind of anointing that you have that people can come from all over the world to hear you preach, to hear you prophesy, to hear you minister. Listen, let me give you a testimony. From the time I got ordained as a prophet, you would not believe how many people have been messaging me, people that I don't even know, never see in their life. People messaging me on Facebook, people messaging me on Instagram, Yesterday, I got one from a woman in Grenada. Yeah, Grenada. Okay. But then this scripture came just now. Kings shall come to the brightness of your rising. You see, fireflies are only attracted to night. Yeah, come on, somebody. Now, you know those flying turbines just before the river falls? They, 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 what do they do? They're always around what? Light. The only way God can cause you to be attractive is if there is light coming from you. That is right. What? That's why your Bible says in Matthew, let your light so do what? Shine before men that what? Men may do what? See your good words and do what? Glorify the Father which is in heaven. And there is no way that you can keep your you can know that anybody's gonna come to you if you don't have anything to show. Let your light so shine. That's why I say a candle that is hidden under a bushel cannot be seen. You have to put it on top of the hill so that it can shine all around. Come on, somebody. It's time for us to let our light shine. That I say is saying today, your light is about to shine in this place. People are going to come from the north, the south, the east, and the west and come to the brightness of your rising. I'm telling DBI this afternoon, it is time to shine. It is time to shine. Look at your neighbor, tell them, it's time to shine. It's time to shine. It's time to shine. Come on, somebody.